leaders, Nigerian leaders are not talking about. The real conversation should not be something or no something. The real conversation is be, it should be what do we have? We have a natural resource. How do we manage it? Resource management. There should be a ministry for resource management. Nigeria is a wastage economy. We always waste things. And whatever where you waste things, it, fuel is, is, is actually a resource that can finish. One day Nigeria will become a country that has no oil. We have to put together a, a resource management ministry where all these things will be managed effectively for Nigeria's use. But we, we, the politicians in Nigeria have always come and gone and they don't solve problems, they create problems. Thank you so much. Welcome to politics today. I'm your brother, this is very great. Those who called a sitting president good, total idiot, stupid, clueless, senseless, Jonah Haram, Jonah this, Jonah that, bad luck, murderer. All manner of names, they carry their casket. Jonathan rest in pieces. They said they were going to bury the sitting president. They did all these things like useless rascals, like talks that have never seen any level of education at all. Like area boys under the influence of drugs, they operated freely, making noise, disturbing the peace of the nation, threatening Nigeria, making Nigeria ungovernable. Police protected them. They were not arrested. Nothing happened to them. They brought a goat physically and said that is the president, Jonathan. Nobody disturbed them. No arrest, no prosecution. For two weeks, they occupied Nigeria. They protested worldwide. They organized protests in London, in US, everywhere. Like talks, no atom of sense. Lord behold, those who call the sitting president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, those who called him goat, made mockery of him. Like they are the same set of people. Threatening Nigerians who want to protest a gang that have captured Nigeria and brought hardship and hunger upon Nigeria. Nigerians are suffering. Insecurity is out of hand. Farmers can't go to farm. If you want to harvest your crop, you will pay terrorists. Communities pay 20 million monthly to terrorists to live, to exist in Nigeria. Territories have been taken over. Yet, people are sitting comfortably, borrowing money, living big. They are not ready to make any sacrifice. 21 billion, you renovate somebody's residential house 21 billion 15 billion this that is what we hear daily to go for prayer 90 billion that's just what we hear lagos uh, calabar coastal road 15 trillion that's what we hear every metal impact assessment no way due process no way You borrow, nobody knows where the money is going. 
Nobody knows the constituency allowance of the lawmakers. You hear 200 billion, you hear 100 billion, you hear 20 billion, you hear 200 million, you hear all manner of figures. There is nothing we do not hear under this government. I'm talking about those who call the sitting president goats. They are the same set of people who said no to protest. They are threatening. There is no need for protest. When things are out of control, you are shouting and threatening. People will not protest. You are looking for a scapegoat. It's meant to be disobedient. It's in the book. A scapegoat. Want to see how you can pour out the blood of innocent evil youths for nothing. Want to use his speech to stay up people, to rise against innocent evils. That is the propaganda coming from no other place than Asoroko, the seat of government. A government that uses his propaganda as instrument of state policy. This is so sad, so unfortunate. May God save Nigeria. No more running back. Nobody, everybody now has decided that we want to die. Yeah. They're not going they anywhere. Let them kill us. Let them kill us. Yeah. Kill us. Yeah. Yeah. We want to die. Oh, my God.